Hey, for some technical things, okay? What are the things on the side of the face? That's a great, great question. question. <laughs> they're like our, I think like birth, birthmarks. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, Technically, okay. they're they're little uh, tattoos that come on and off every day. Yeah, yeah t- like on a technical level. Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah. I went, I'm sorry, I'm still in character. Yeah. No, I'm but just, that was no, just... No. And why do they all have A hyphen names? Um, you know, so actually, I think an awesome thing about the movie, um, whether whether it's talked about or like people have figured this out or not. So uh, all of these zombies names start with a Z. All of the werewolf names start with a W. All the aliens names obviously have to start with with an A. And so um, I think I think that was just like a fun little thing, because, of course, the aliens are going to do it different and going to have a hyphen and, well, you know, yeah. make things complicated. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I thought of Key and Peel, where they had like A A Ron. You remember that? Skit? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. I just I was wondering if that was how they were going to pronounce it, but it didn't happen. But this really yeah. makes a big statement, I think, about gender diversity. Mm-hmm. Do you guys see that, and and do you think it will resonate with kids? Absolutely. Yeah, I think um, I've you know um, playing Aspen, who is non-binary. I've been fortunate enough to like get a lot of love from fans already, and it hasn't even come out, and just people. So many kids being like, I never thought this was possible. Like, this is so amazing. I'm so glad. Like, and when I was that age, I didn't even know what non-binary was. I had no idea, you know, so it's just to see that um, uh, these kids know that and now feel I mean, like seen is, is really incredible. Well, and I also noticed the aliens aren't threatening. They don't seem like, you know, mm-hmm. that they're going to be these, they're coming down and they're going to just ruin everything. Yeah. That was another kind of switch for me. Did you see that too? And say, wow, that's different. Yeah, I, I, I find it interesting because uh, when the aliens come down, they, they cause like such a d- destruction to the town. And and yet they come down and the first time you see them, they're smiling and like they're like laughing about everything. And so it's so obvious that they're they're like not coming to like harm anybody. They're not coming to like be this big intimidating thing. Like they're genuinely just like always happy. And they're like, you know, they're always just kind of, oh, wow, this is interesting. This is great. And so, um, but I think just the thought alone of them being aliens, there's like that, that, that thought of like, oh, wow, these aliens, like, I think everyone just assumes aliens are bad. And, and uh, especially when they come down and ruin the town, then yeah, they right. might that, that was all intentional and, you know, blowing houses up and everything like that. I love all the comedy <laughs> that comes out of that. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Matt, how does this differ from high school musical in terms of high schools? Is it? It's different. it's very different. Yeah. I mean, a high school musical, um, obviously it's, it's like, you just have your normal, your normal everyday theater kids and, uh, and, and there's, you know, the complications and the drama that ensues there, but here it's, it's so great because they, there's, there's a, a, a story told of, you know, obviously we have like so many monsters and like, um, these, these different creatures that come in and, and it's fun because I will say the similarity between the two, what I love is that, um, in both of them, especially in this third one with, um, with, you know, uh, uh, Aspen and, and being non-binary, like it's not something in both high school musical and this movie, it's not something that is like a thing to be a part of, of the queer community. And, and it's like, it's, it's, it's not like meant to like be like this big deal. It just is. And it's okay. And it's like, doesn't have to be talked about. It's just like there. And it's, you know, for, for high school musical, the, the characters that, that are part of that community like it's not a big deal made out of it and they just are there and living and everyone accepts them and loves them and it's the same thing you know when aspen comes in and, and i can let terry speak more on that but i think that's what's so beautiful about both of them I go for it Tara. okay here we go <laughs> okay Tara. um no i think matt said it said it really well it's like i just think in general in terms of representation it's so important for stories to um, include or like storytelling to include stories that do revolve around the struggles that come with a specific identity. Those are really important for sure, um, but just as important to have content like this where it's very normalized. It's just kind of seamless um, because I think it shows that like we don't need our struggle to be the only reason that we can exist on screen, right? Like we are also just people here, you know, on screen. I think, yeah. Well, hey, thank you guys. It's so fun to see and it, it, it tackles tough subjects in a very, I think, um, fun way. And that's yeah. not always the case. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but I got to tell you, Mountain College sounds like just the worst. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Fail on Mountain College, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. 
Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks Thank you so, so much, much Bruce. Bruce.